you know, what's a barbecue without hot dogs and hamburgers? And what's a hot dog and a hamburger without ketchup? But when it drips on you, it's just not quite as tasty as it was in the beginning. So today I want to show you how you can remove it quickly and easily with no stains left behind. First of all, if you spill enough, which I have before, to actually leave a glop on there, we're going to take any dull straight edge. I love these little plastic spoons. Use anything you have. And I scrape off anything that I can, any big parts of it. And see, I've just got a little tiny bit on there, but I'm not spreading it around when I do that. Then I'm going to take some water in a bowl and I'm going to add some detergent. Now, you can use any kind you want, whatever detergent appeals to you. Sometimes I buy whatever's on sale. So if you do that, perfect. Now, we're going to just mix it together and then I'm going to take that stain and I'm going to put it right into that bowl and let it soak. Now, as I'm always telling you, clean smarter, not harder. So let it soak for at least half an hour. If you're going to go to the grocery store, that's fine. Let it soak. Nothing will harm it. When you come back, check it. If the stain is gone, then you're home free. You don't have to do anything else. If you still have a stain, I want to tell you some things. And it looks like I still have a stain. There we are. So let that soak. And I'm going to put that back in. Now, if you still have a stain, what you want to do is you want to take two parts of hydrogen peroxide and you want to take one part of Dawn Original dish soap. Mix it together and put it on that stain. Let it sit for about half an hour to an hour. And generally, that will take it out. It's what I call my miracle laundry spotter. When you're done, rinse it. If it's gone, awesome. Go ahead and launder it as usual. If not, your best defense is a good offense. So there is a product you can use, and it is called Carbona Stain Doubles. And this one will take out ketchup. You buy these at the grocery store. They're in these little bottles, and they are specifically for different kinds of stains. Buy this one, use it according to directions. They are fantastic. When you're done and you launder it, take it out of the washer and make sure you look at it before you put it in the dryer. Because if you put it in the dryer and the stain's still there, it's set and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, by the way, if you're going to be putting it in the dryer, you might wanna watch my video on making your own dryer balls out of aluminum foil. They are fantastic and obviously they're cheap too. So check that video out. This is all you need to know about taking out ketchup. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.